There was a time when just about every home in America had a thermostat that looked like this. It's a very simple device that hung off the wall, and remarkably, there are still a lot of them in use today. But in terms of where we are with heating and cooling systems, this guy is a dinosaur. This guy only had one job, to sense temperature and turn the heating system on or off. But it was the greatest invention of its day, because before it, you had to go down to the basement and shovel coal or throw wood in. You were the thermostat. That's right. Our, my grandfather was. So now, these basic thermostats worked on a simple principle. Inside, there was this bimetallic coil that would expand and contract with temperature. Mm -hmm. You can see this bulb right here, yep. and there's mercury in here. So this would make the contact, and the, as the coil moved, watch what happened. It would break the contact. Right. And, and there are wires attached to this bulb, which go through the wall and down into the basement to the heating plant. Right. You'd always have two wires, normally red and white, and that comes out from the furnace of the boiler to the thermostat. Right. Now, as fuel got more expensive, people wanted to add a clock thermostat. So that they can program and say, uh, the heat comes on at 6 a.m., but make sure it goes off at 10 p.m. That's right, to be able to save some energy. So you can see the clock right here. And in this case, there's two mercury bulbs and two of those coils. And it would give you a reduced temperature or an active temperature. And this is a battery right here to power right. the clock. A pretty good invention in its day. Right. So nowadays, there's no more mercury. So this should always be disposed of properly if you're throwing them out to change to a new thermostat. OK, make sure you recycle okay. those. So here's the basic thermistor style right now that says yes or no. You can use that same thermostat for heating or cooling, mm -hmm. all right? But most of the thermostats nowadays, we find, are digital. And so they have a readout to tell you what the temperature is. Right. So now, all of these that we're looking at here on the wall, they still have a wire going down to the basement. They have to have at least two wires to send a signal. If it's going to do heating and cooling, you'd need to have five wires. Right. Now, you also would use this five wires if you wanted to add power to the digital thermostat instead of using batteries. Right, to run the clock, the That's digital right. readout. Okay. okay. Uh, they all have a wire, That's but there are actually some wireless versions of these. Absolutely. People want to add a thermostat and zone a, a building differently. This is a wireless thermostat that would send a signal back to a unit like this down in the basement. Mm -hmm. and this is battery powered. And that's using a radio frequency. It's really no more sophisticated than your garage door opener. That's right. That's right. All right. Now, there's a whole new generation of Wi-Fi enabled thermostats. That's going to work off a router in the house and talk out to the web, a lot which of means us you can take data from away from get local weather, but right. you can also access it from away from your smartphone. So here's a basic unit right here that you could set temperatures in the house. You could move the temperatures up or down using your smartphone, mm -hmm. and you control some multiple zoning. Now, this is a Wi-Fi enabled thermostat, but I'm almost afraid to call it just a thermostat because as we move through here, they almost become home automation systems. Here's a unit. It'll give you the same temperature readout, all the Wi-Fi enabled. But it also can do zoning with individual zone controls right here. It can do sensors in different parts of the building to know what's going on. Right. But it also can be a lighting control. This can plug into a 110 volt outlet, and now the lights could be controlled remotely and on timers. So it's being controlled by this unit or maybe by the phone that's in your that's pocket. Right. This also ties into a system that can let you remotely open or close a door, unlock a door, so hmm. you could let the plumber in. Or not let them in, in your <laughs> case. Right. Right. <laughs> Another system has the same Wi-Fi enabled. But it also has these two clamps. And these two clamps would go onto the hot bus bars in your electrical circuit panel. And this will tell you what you're using for electricity, how much it's costing you, and what devices are costing you what. Wow. So we've really come a long way. I mean, we've got not only heating and cooling control, home automation, but now we have energy monitoring. It's really an exciting time to be in this game. That's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.